Hey, how's it going, YouTube? Uh, so recently, um, I got a gig where I have a lot of 16th notes to play pretty fast, 130 BPM and up. And there's a lot of alternating accents, a lot of this sort of stuff. Over and over and over again. And what I've been noticing is that my right hand accents feel pretty good. They're nice and loose. I have two different levels or three different levels of stick heights happening. But in my left hand, the accents are a little forced. I'm kind of squeezing and I'm really kind of clubbing my way through them. So I wanted to figure out a way to try to get them loose and happening naturally and, you know, create a nice flow, etc. So thinking about that, I realized that maybe part of the reason why my right hand has an easier time with this is because I'm doing right hand lead so often. Okay, so 16th notes with the right hand lead kind of feel natural and work really well. With the left hand, I don't really have that same natural feeling. Even with regular left hand lead, there's something kind of clubby and heavy about trying to get through those 16th notes. So to kind of tackle both problems, the left hand lead problem and being able to accent better with my left hand lead, I've come up with this little exercise. I'm sure other people have done it, but I'm taking uh, exercise one, which is page 38, right? Yeah, page 38 from Ted Reed's Syncopation. I'm playing it right now at 110, nice and slow, so I can pay attention to my motion, get the stick heights happening. And I'm playing basically 16th notes with a left hand lead, constant. And I'm using the rhythms on the syncopation page as an accent pattern. So I'm going to play through that once right now. Hopefully I don't mess up, um, but I don't know if, if it sounds good, you're not practicing, right? So uh, here's what I've been working on to tackle this issue. Okay, one, two, one, two, ready, go. So there you have it. I did have a couple mistakes in there, of course, right? Um, because I'm filming it and I always make mistakes when I film. Uh, but uh, yeah, there you have it. And again, the idea, you know, I guess if I were to play the first measure with my right hand, there's something different when I do it, right? Like I'm able to make it have more of a melody when I play with my right hand. So again, the idea with my left hand is kind of create that sort of melodic idea that. Yeah. Tell you right there, my left hand's not getting low enough on the inner notes, right? So again, that's something that I need to work on. And uh, I think this is actually a decent exercise for working your way through that sort of issue. So anyway, uh, we'll keep this one kind of short. Uh, if you like this video, please uh, like and subscribe. You can also check out my website, christianjohnsondrums.com for more uh, lessons. Any lesson that I write, the PDF is up there for free. And you know, since this uses Ted Reed's book, I'm not going to 
post his book, but uh, I'll put a link there if you guys want to purchase it. Uh, syncopation is so great for so many different things and you can apply different concepts to it, jazz and chops and whatever. So I recommend you have it in your arsenal anyway. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.